Why Muslims Pray Five Times a Day Daily prayer is one of the five pillars of Islam. The regular prayers are known as the Salah. Most Muslims observe five prayer times. 1. Salal Fajr, the dawn, or any time before sunrise. 2. Salal Zor, midday. 3. Salal Asr, late afternoon. 4. Salal Maghrib, dusk or just after sunset. 5. Salal Isha, between sunset and midnight. The Salah is not explicitly mentioned in the Quran, but they are certainly implied. For example, Surah 11 reads, and establish the prayer at the two ends of the day, and in the first hours of the night. Indeed the good deeds drive away the evil deeds. This is a reminder to those who are mindful of Allah. Other surahs refer to other Salah times. So Muslims pray five times a day, because it's what Allah wants. But this ritual also plays an important role. First, the Salah sets the rhythm of the day. Muslims start performing the Salah fairly young, normally, Children learn it around the age of seven. This sets a pattern for their day. Muslims arrange the day around the Salah times. The call to prayer from the mosques provides a clear reminder. All appointments and tasks are arranged around the Salah. The Salah is a highly spiritual ritual. It's not about reciting memorized words. Prayer is communion with Allah. It unites mind, soul, and body in worship. That's why the prayer is accompanied by movements. Muslims must be in the right frame of mind to pray. They must set aside all worries and distractions. This Allah connects Muslims to each other. This prayer ritual is over 1400 years old. Millions of people do it every day, all over the world. So the Salah serves as a connection to the Ummah. Ummah is the entire Islamic community. Each Salah is made up of repeating units, known as Rakat. Each Rakat consists of specific movements and recitations. The movements include bows and prostrations. That's why Muslims often carry a prayer mat. The phrase Allahu Akbar is recited when changing positions. Before the Salah, a Muslim should always perform wudu. It's an act of ritual washing. First, the hands are washed. Then the mouth and nose are cleaned. The face is cleaned next. Then the arms up to the elbow are washed. The head is wiped over with wet hands, including the ears. Finally, the feet are washed. The person begins in a standing position, known as qiyam. Disabled people may begin, while sitting or lying on the ground. Then they raise their hands to their head, and recite Allahu Akbar. Then they lower their hands. This means the Salah has begun, and must be seen through to the end. From this point forward, no talking, eating, or doing anything else is allowed. A Muslim must keep their vision low, during prayer, they must always look at the ground before them. What if they make a mistake during the recital? This can be corrected by prostrating twice at the end of the Salah. The prayer ends with Taslim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. This phrase means, peace and mercy of Allah be upon you all. It concludes the Salah. Salah can be performed anywhere. Muslims don't need to go to the mosque to pray.